Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com, your home of Excel dashboards, charting techniques, and everything about Excel. Uh, hello, my name is Steve True, and I uh, wanted to show you today a great uh, example of an Excel dashboard that was sent to me by a, a user. Um, his name is Mitch, and I'm going to probably say his last name incorrectly uh, Mitch Cove. Uh, Mitch sent me a 2012 Olympic medal count uh, dynamic dashboard that I'm going to show you today. I've been talking about uh, building a dashboard for the Olympic medal counts, and he sent me his own. And uh, I think it's just awesome, and I wanted to show you a few of the techniques that he used uh, within this dashboard uh, so that you can learn from it and possibly create your own. Uh, so you can learn a little bit more about this on my blog at excel-dashboard-templates.com. Uh, but a few uh, real cool things that you can see is. Uh, Mitch, first of all, he has created a data validation uh, cell here that you can choose what type of metal uh, count would you look at uh, for the overall section at the top. So if you change it to total, you see the United States was in first. Uh, if you change it to gold, uh, you'll see the United States still won more gold. Um, but let's change it to bronze. Uh, Russia had the most bronze and uh, with a total of 33 followed by the United States, China, and Great Britain. You can also uh, he uses data validation rules to create uh, conditional formatting of these double lines here uh, using a pick list uh, and so you can choose your favorite country. So let's say our favorite country, uh, another um, powerhouse at the games um, I saw Italy a lot, so let's take a look at Italy and see what it does there. Uh, you see it highlights the row where Italy is uh, with two double dashed lines on the top and bottom, and they were 10th in bronze. Let's change that back to gold and see how they fared for gold count. They were 9th overall in gold, and total uh, Italy was still 9th. And you can see over on the right hand side, uh, he's also created a great section. Uh, uh, to graphically show you the metal counts uh, using a great formula called uh, repeat or REPT. I'm not sure if it's called repeat or not. I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, so he takes how many metals and uses a Wingdings font uh, to create some in cell charts uh, that we'll learn more about in a later blog post. You can see those change both in color and uh, in the number of metals. Uh, that they won for each so you can quickly tell uh, in a bar chart format without actually using a bar chart. Also down at the bottom he's got another section that uh, he's going to compare uh, the favorite that he had up above which uh, in this case we had Italy um, and you can check out Italy versus let's say uh, Great Britain. Uh, find Great Britain in the list he's using once again that data validation pick list here uh, as his um, compared co comparable country uh, and so Great Britain, Britain Great Britain versus Italy you can see graphically just how many medals uh, they won uh, in Great Britain which was the home country uh, versus Italy uh, which is a country about the same size of uh, uh, population but uh, yet they won uh, far fewer medals uh, so dashboards are great visually you don't always have to use charts which Mitch shows us here um, he's used some great conditional formatting, some data validation rules, and he also at the very top, he created a slider because this is only showing your top 15. You can see it's interactive in that I can change uh, not only what metal count I'm looking at, what's my favorite country to highlight. I can also use what's called a scroll bar over here uh, to look through all of the 72 or 75 countries uh, that competed in the game, and I can just scroll through those and you'll see over on the right hand side the metal counts uh, change as well as to what we're showing and what's active so uh, it's just a great example of a dashboard uh, Mitch also uh, separated his uh, charting area from his raw data area uh, and this is where he's got all of who won what uh, and then he is going to create some different sorting groups create some different ranks that you're going to see using the scroll bar over here and then he's got his entire alphabetical country list so that he can use those for different pick lists, if you will. So 
uh, I would recommend that you head on over to my blog and download this file. It's a free download of an Excel dashboard template that you can use and learn from. Uh, so head on over to my blog and scroll to the very bottom of the uh, posting titled Incredible Excel 2012 Olympic Medal Count Dynamic and Interactive Dashboard and at the very bottom you'll find the download link. Uh, and I just wanted to thank Mitch Cove uh, very much. Thank you very much for uh, sending me that dashboard so that we could show users uh, some other techniques in building awesome dashboards. Thank you and talk to you soon.